This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. We are in the yard right now. Just getting ready to go to the London XL Centre. It's uh, myself going with the boss. And we're taking these sort of like port toilets up. Uh, we've got like a green one there, two white ones. And then on the back end, we've got a tanker. We're taking them each. And uh, it's going to the London XL Centre, as I already said, but it's pretty exciting for me as a motorsport fan because it's actually going to the Formula E Grand Prix uh, which is like a big thing coming out now the Formula E so I've uh, I've watched a bit of it it's quite interesting got all the fan boost and all, all that and uh, Sam Bird for Jaguar it's probably my favourite obviously he's a Brit uh, so yeah it should be interesting um, I think it's the first event Formula E event which is both inside and outside they start inside and they go outside they race around the docks around the car park and then back into the XL Centre again where they start uh, where they cross the start finish line and then obviously do so many laps but yeah it should be interesting uh, got to go do some checks engines on warming up just go do some checks now see you in a bit Just uh, filling it up, it's about to uh, click off now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Free cookie. Lovely cookie. Okay, so you join me now in the truck. We are, we're heading towards uh, the London XL Centre. We just stopped to get some fuel, as you've just seen. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm leading the pack. Uh, the boss is behind me. And that's because the truck only does 53 miles an hour. If he's in front, he's just gonna stonk off ahead. <laughs> so uh, I'm setting the pace, setting the pace. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to XL Centre via M11s. We're gonna go clockwise around the M25 to uh, to the M11, come down, take the A406 straight into London XL Centre that way. Apparently we've got to look for the East Gate, um, which should be the side we come down on anyway. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we, we will be coming down near the East Gate, so fingers crossed um, we can get in nice and easy. I had a quick look on the maps yesterday and I had a quick, quick look at the track layout. It looks sick. I, I can't wait to get there. I don't know whether it's going to be ready to go i think i think the race is in a couple of weeks time i think so uh obviously we're just getting everything in ready to go but i don't know whether the track layout is going to be there uh but according to google maps there's a car park and then according to the track layout part of the track goes around that car park um so we could be seeing some track i don't know i don't think we'll be on the track by any means we might even go inside the xl center where some grandstands are i don't know but uh, if we do, I for sure will be trying my best to go and get some footage of, uh, of some other stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I haven't got the dash cam on because I'm doing time lapse at the moment. But, um, but yeah, we're going to head straight there now. Uh, we should be there for about quarter past ten, half past ten. But I don't know if, we, I don't know if we've got a stop on the way or not. Um, 
no idea. And we might be there for a while because I've heard some people say that the Excel Centre is uh, a bit of a pain. But we will see. It's all part of the fun. Let's go. Okay, so we're currently on the A406. We're about three and a half miles away from the Excel Centre. Uh, but we also need to go and sign in somewhere. Don't know, don't know where. <laughs> um, but just to follow the signs is what I've been told. So uh, we've got to look out for two things. Firstly, uh, London XL Centre signs, Eastgate, but uh, but also some sort of yellow AA sign that says like the delivery logistics booking office or something like that. So yeah, so it's going to be uh, going to be interesting. I, I like going to places like this where you have to, where you've not ever been before because it's just all new. But what lane do I want? I think I want this lane. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have this lane. So yeah, we're uh, keeping an eye out for yellow AA signs, but not the ones like over there that says diverted. Right. Da -da 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 -da. No signs yet for the XL. But we do want to go right. I'm going to take up both these lanes. I'm not entirely sure which one I need. So we'll take both up. Okay, we're going to come off at this one. Ba, 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 ba. Right, we'll get over to the left lane, straight over this one. I haven't seen any signs yet, so I'm thinking of, I'm thinking just head straight to the centre, XL centre, and then maybe there's a check in there. Whereas the last time I did this event, or event like this, it was for the golf. I didn't do a vlog on it, but there was uh, the check-in part was like five miles away. <laughs> We're only a mile away from the centre now, so... XL centre, I mean. OK, I think that's the XL centre over there. It's got, like, white pointy things on the roof. Looks a bit like a skeleton thing. This is the XL Centre. I think, I think the, the, the track's going to be in this car park as well. Uh, Traffic office deliveries. 5.3. Something waiting there. Let's have a look. This looks like part of the track. I think we're on the track. Yeah, this, <laughs> okay, so we're actually on the track of the Formula E Grand Prix. That's the, the blue barriers they're putting up, which are on all the racetracks. All venue deliveries report to traffic office straight on. This is cool, man. This is cool. <laughs> these are the fences which are going to go up above all these blue stuff. Oh, man, this is sick. I love this. That's the track there, look, as well. So we're now off the track. But yeah, that's all the guard fences. Oh, man, this is amazing. He tell I like motorsport. Traffic office to the left. We don't drive in, do we? No.
Oh, got an airplane landing. Right, so we, I think we've got to go in the traffic office there, so we're going to go and have a word, uh, book in, and then uh, get these offloaded. I think that's the plan. I probably should have parked wherever my boss is parked, but never mind. Right, see you in a bit. Yeah, yeah, two artists, yeah. Right, booked in, got our passes. I'm gonna follow the boss in now. <laughs> He's followed me all the way, yeah, I'm gonna follow him. Follow him once we're actually here. So yeah, we just driven on the actual track, which is pretty cool. Just seeing the track lay out as well, big old A4, A5, I don't know what's like, uh, BA6 or something on it bit of paper in, in the thing. I think we've got to do a spinny turn around and come back out or something. We will see. But yeah, exactly what he's got on his trailer is exactly what I've got on my trailer. Exactly the same. I'm spinning around here, I think. We shall do the same. Let's turn me as it's off. So we still want East Gate. Obviously we had to book in first, which is what we just done. I think as we come in, there was like a left turn. There was a security guard there. So I, I reckon we've got to go back out of here and then it's bare right, I think. I'll have to see. Oh, it's a good job the, uh, the Formula E cars aren't racing on this bit. <laughs> the bloody brake. Even seeing those concrete barriers with like sponsorship signs on, that's just amazing. That's cool. I love it. And I know I've already said, but the, so these metal fences will sort of, they've got hoops on the side, look. You can see they will hoop on to the metal posts popping out of these blue barriers. So this must be part of the track that we're on now. Otherwise they wouldn't have these blue barriers up. I don't know. There's some sort of bendy bit. <laughs> I probably don't know. There's definitely a bendy bit. I'm like a kid in a street shop. I'm in my element on uh, motorsport stuff like this. Oh, this is sick. I think we're bare right here, I think. Are we going on the main road then? Okay, I would have thought we went there. Uh, or do we go in this way, off the roundabout? Where's that van going? Come on, mate, hurry up. Take your time, mate. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, I think we could have just come in that way down. I'm not sure. Yep, follow him, I will. Ah, new sponsorships going up, look, the Julius Bar. Where are you going to? Same as him, Eastgate. It just says, I think East Gate, I think. Yeah, East Car Park. Yeah, we're going in there. Yeah, I had a feeling we were going to go in the car park. 
This is where the track's going to be as well, I believe. All right, mate. Nice. Thank you, mate. Lovely. Right next to the Docklands, look. I'm going to take a very nice wide turn and get right behind him. Excellent, right. This is awesome. <laughs> Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Right, I'll see you later then. See you later. Right, let's do those windows up. We are tipped. Are you going to remove that fence for me, mate? Or Okay, we're going to go out the way it says come in. Thank you, mate. Ah, uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. There's like a ramp thing coming down there. That's like, that's quite cool. Undulating track effect. And then I think they come into this car park and they do some bits and bobs in there where we've just been and come back out or something, I don't know. That's cool. That is cool. Delivering to the track. Right, anyway, uh, next up, we need to go to Basingstoke. Oh, you're a little bit high there, aren't you? <laughs> next up, we need to go to Basingstoke. Uh, and collect some pallets, and then we're taking those pallets to Avonmouth, and then uh, from, from Avonmouth we're heading back to the yard, and we'll be done. And then tomorrow we're heading, or coming back this way, because we've got to go to Tower Bridge. Where do we go, where do we go, where do we go? This way, yeah. Yeah, because tomorrow we've got to go to Tower Bridge, so that'd be a different vlog. We've got to go to Tower Bridge and uh, pick up some more toilets from uh, from there for an event they did for something else. I can't remember what the event was though. What was that event? I can't remember. I'll find out and uh, let you know in, in that vlog. <laughs> but yeah, so that was it. That was the uh, Formula E Grand Prix uh, London track that we were just on. Right, let's crack on to Basingstoke. See you when we get there. Okay, so we are now here in Basingstoke. We're just waiting to be let in. We've been told to wait a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, it looks like one of those places where they load you from one side first and you move on over and you get loaded from the other side. So, uh, it could be here a while, I'm not sure. But we've been asked to wait a couple of minutes and then just sort of drive on round. There's a truck in front of us and we've been asked to wait and then drive round to there. So, uh, that is what we're doing. And then I think we're gonna go 15 high on the flatbed because my straps aren't quite long enough for 20. But uh, we'll have a look. Right. Man, that's hot. 
all the pallets are now on. We've got a 15 high, 26 in total. See how much I'm sweating? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's looking good, looking good. Right, we're loaded. We're loaded uh, and we're out of here. That is hot. I am one hot truck driver. Hang on, that sounds wrong. <laughs> uh, very moist. Very moist. That's, uh, it's warm out there. 20, what's the temperature? 26 degrees, I think it says. Oh, no, 20, 22 and a half, not quite as warm as I thought it was. That's still warm though. I think I got I got to get out. And... It would have been nice if they had like uh, a booth. Next to the road, you don't have to get out, but no, got to get out to give this to him. Cheers, mate. Don't you say, uh, don't you say thank you or anything like that. We want to go right out of here, so we're going to have to wait for traffic. Straight onto the main road. Lovely jubbly. There's our load right behind us. A bit weird when you can see it all on a flatbed. Looks like it might fall off a bit more. <laughs> right, anyway, we are, we're going to head to Avonmouth now, get these off, uh, and then try and get back to the yard by, I don't know, by half seven. Something like that's going to be a late one. I just realised as well, when I get back, I've got to... I've borrowed my parents' car because my car needs to go to the garage to be looked at. And my parents' car... got a flat tyre this morning. So, when I get to work later on... Where are you going? Are you going to indicate? Indicate, mate. When I get back to the uh, yard later, at 7 half 7, I need to change a wheel and put the space saver on, so... That'd be fun, something to look forward to, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, let's get going uh, to Avonmouth. I will see you when we are a little bit closer. See you in a bit. Okie dokie, situation update. Someone seeing me. Hello, mate, how you doing? Who was that? Can't, I didn't get the company name. I don't think you saw your camera either. <laughs> uh, situation update. Uh, we're just arriving now at Avonmouth to get these pallets off. And it started bloody raining. So we're going to get a little bit wet, but I'm quite hot, so I'm happy to go out and sort some t-shirt, to be honest. Uh, good news is, no pallets have fallen off, so that's good. <laughs> uh, we've got a couple of tassels which have fallen out, but obviously because the way I do them up, even if they dangle down, they don't dangle all the way down. So we've just been keeping an eye on them for the last uh, 20 minutes or so. Not causing any issues. We're good to go round, clear left, clear right. Excellent, eh? So yeah, it's just gone half past four. Well, it's, well, it's nearly 20 to five now, actually. Um, I'm hoping for a quick offload here, but it's touch and go. You never never quite know what it's going to be like. I can see a truck, the two trucks there look already. Well, that rain's coming down fast now. That's three, four trucks I can see. And uh, they might be quite busy. It could be quite busy. Left here. What's he beeping for? Who's 
Bit of a bump coming up. There we go. Ugh. Right. Is there a queue? I mean, if there is a queue, we can still get the straps off ready. Because uh, then it'd be uh, a case we'll just stay in the cab then while they offload. Oh, lovely smell of uh, feces. <laughs> Right, it looks like we can go in at least, so that's good. Ba, ba, ba. Ah, there's no one there's no one queuing up. Not I can see yet. So it shouldn't shouldn't be too long then hopefully. We will need to wear a hard out from this point onwards. Yeah, so there's a couple of trucks there that are waiting. We'll uh, we'll get into this lane here, lane one, and we'll start undoing our straps. Oh, wrong way. Get it the right way, Luke. Yeah, we'll wait here. We'll get all our straps off, and then um, we can go on in and stay in the truck then. Right, and brake off. Oh, sorry, and brake on. Right, let's go get these straps off. Okay, and that's it. We have... Uh... We're now inside Chep and we are currently being offloaded. Uh, we took all the straps off and um, yeah, now we just get to chill inside the cab while matey boy takes them all off. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been a good day. Uh, quite cool that we've got to uh, to drive on the London e -Pri. I think I've been calling it the Grand Prix, but it's actually called an e -Pri. So um, apologies for any uh, major Formula E fans. Uh, it's London e <laughs> But no, it was actually really cool. I'm actually glad I did that. So, happy days. Tomorrow, um, I'm going to London Bridge. I might vlog, might not. I don't know yet. I should, should really vlog. But going to London Bridge tomorrow. Um, in, in the city centre of London again. So, I might, I might do something. I'm not sure. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. So, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe. Stay safe. I will see you soon.